Ever pondered if our four-legged friends should be allowed to fly with us on aircraft? It's a question that sparks passionate debates. On one hand, we have the comfort and companionship of our beloved canines. On the other, there are concerns about safety, allergies, and the well-being of the dogs themselves. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. But we're here to explore both sides of this argument in a fair and balanced manner. Welcome to Crunchy Vic TV. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Join us as we navigate the turbulent skies of this debate. First, we take off with the benefits of having dogs on board. Air travel can be a stressful experience for many. The hustle and bustle of the airport, the pressure changes during the flight, and the overall unpredictability can leave passengers feeling anxious. Enter man's best friend. Dogs, with their intuitive understanding of human emotions, can provide the emotional support that passengers need. They have this uncanny ability to sense when their human is stressed, and respond by offering comfort. Their mere presence, their warmth, the rhythmic pattern of their breathing, or the simple act of petting them, can lower heart rates and ease anxiety. It's like having a personal stress reliever with a wagging tail. For those who suffer from mental health conditions, dogs can be even more crucial. Emotional support dogs, specifically trained to assist individuals with conditions like anxiety disorders, depression or PTSD, can be a lifeline during a flight. They provide their owners with a sense of security and calm, making the flight experience more manageable and less overwhelming. Now, let's switch gears and view this from the airline's perspective. Having a pet-friendly policy can actually be a major selling point for air carriers. There's a sizable demographic of pet owners who would gladly choose an airline that accommodates their furry friends over one that doesn't. This could mean increased bookings and a loyal customer base. It's a win-win situation, really. Furthermore, dogs on flights could potentially enhance the overall mood in the cabin. A cute dog might just be the distraction that weary travelers need. A friendly wag or a soft bark could break the ice and encourage conversations among passengers, fostering a sense of community in an otherwise impersonal environment. So, there's more to having dogs on flights than just wagging tails and wet noses. Indeed, the benefits of allowing dogs on aircraft extend beyond the obvious. It's about emotional well-being, it's about inclusivity for those with mental health conditions, and it's about creating a more relaxed, friendly atmosphere during air travel. But like turbulence mid-flight, there are drawbacks to consider. Let's delve into the potential issues that might make you rethink the idea of dogs on planes. First, we must consider the comfort and well-being of other passengers. Not everyone is a dog lover and some people may have allergies. Imagine being confined to a small space 30,000 feet in the air with an allergen you cannot escape from. The noise factor is another concern. The constant barking or whimpering of a stressed dog might not be the background noise people want to hear while trying to catch some sleep on a long-haul flight. And speaking of stress, let's consider the dogs themselves. Air travel can be stressful for humans and it's no different for our canine friends. The unfamiliar environment, loud noises and changes in air pressure can cause significant distress to dogs. This can lead to behavioral changes and even health issues in some cases. From a safety standpoint there's also the question of how dogs will react in an emergency situation. In the event of turbulence or an emergency landing, dogs might become scared and behave unpredictably, posing a risk to themselves and others on board. Now let's talk about health regulations. Airlines have strict guidelines for maintaining a clean and hygienic environment. The presence of dogs could potentially breach these regulations. Dogs can carry parasites like fleas and ticks, or shed fur and dander which might not be ideal for the cleanliness of the cabin. Furthermore, there's the issue of waste management. Dogs need to relieve themselves and on a long flight this could become a logistical nightmare. Not to mention the potential odor issues that could arise making the flight unpleasant for everyone. Lastly there's the question of space. Airplanes are already cramped with limited legroom. Adding dogs into the mix might further encroach on the precious little space passengers have. Clearly, it's not all smooth sailing or flying in this case when dogs come on board. In our next chapter we will explore the middle ground and potential solutions to these issues. With strong arguments on both sides, is there a way to find a middle ground? Just like in any other debate, the key to resolution often lies in compromise. Instead of a blanket ban or free reign, perhaps there are ways to meet halfway when it comes to dogs flying on planes. One such solution could be designating special sections on the plane for pets. This would allow people who are uncomfortable or allergic to dogs to have their own space, while still granting pet owners the ability to travel with their beloved companions. 
This isn't a new concept. We already have quiet zones and business sections on trains, so why not a pet section on planes? Another potential compromise could be implementing stringent health checks for dogs. Just like humans, dogs could be required to have a fit-to-fly certificate from a vet. This would not only ensure the dog is healthy enough to handle the pressures of flying, but it could also help alleviate concerns about diseases or allergies. Then there's the idea of advanced booking systems. Airlines could notify passengers if there will be dogs on their flight. This would give those with allergies or phobias the chance to switch flights if they wish. This could be as simple as a notification when booking or an update sent via email or text. Of course, these solutions are not without their challenges. Designated pet sections could require a redesign of plane interiors, health checks could be costly, and advanced booking systems could complicate the booking process. But with the right approach and a willingness to adapt, these challenges can be overcome. The important thing here is to remember that everyone has a right to travel comfortably. Whether they're a dog lover, allergic to pets, or simply prefer a quiet flight, their needs should be considered. It's about balancing the rights and comforts of all passengers. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll see dogs strutting down the aisle with their own little pet passports, ready to jet off to their next adventure. Perhaps compromise is the key to a peaceful coexistence in the skies. Now, what do the current aviation rules say about dogs in the cabin? Well, the answer is not as straightforward as one might hope. The regulations vary wildly from airline to airline and even from country to country. For instance, some airlines allow dogs in the cabin but only if they are small enough to fit in a carrier under the seat. Others only allow service dogs and emotional support animals to accompany their owners in the cabin, while the rest of our canine companions must travel in the cargo hold. However, it's not all black and white. There are also airlines that don't allow dogs in the cabin at all, regardless of their size or status as a service animal. Now let's talk about recent changes in this area. In the past couple of years, there have been some major shakeups in the world of pet travel. Emotional support animals, once a common sight on many flights, have been banned by several major airlines, following instances of passengers trying to pass off exotic and potentially dangerous animals as emotional support creatures. The controversies surrounding this issue have sparked a lot of debates. Some argue that the airlines are discriminating against those with mental health issues who genuinely need their emotional support animals. Others, however, believe that the airlines are right to crack down on those who are merely trying to circumvent the rules for their own convenience. In addition, some airlines have faced backlash for their handling of pets in the cargo hold. There have been distressing reports of dogs suffering or even dying due to the conditions in the hold leading to calls for stricter regulations and better conditions for pets on flights. So as you can see, the world of pet travel is a complex one, full of differing opinions and regulations. And with the rise of pet ownership and the increasing number of people wanting to travel with their furry friends, it's a topic that's sure to continue to evolve. As you can see, the rules are as varied as the breeds of dogs themselves. Let's turn our attention to what people think about dogs flying. Gauging public sentiment on this issue is no small task. It's a question that's been asked in numerous surveys and studies, and the results are as varied as the people who answer them. In a recent survey conducted by Pet Travel Association, it was found that nearly 60% of dog owners believe pets should be allowed to travel in the cabin of the aircraft, citing reasons such as separation anxiety and the potential health risks associated with cargo hold travel. On the flip side, a study by Airlines for a Safe Travel Experience revealed that 45% of respondents, a mix of dog owners and non-dog owners, expressed concerns about allergies, noise, and general disruption, arguing that dogs should not be permitted in the main cabin of an airplane. Let's not forget about the flight attendants and pilots. In a survey by the Airline Employees Union, 50% of flight staff said they were uncomfortable with dogs in the cabin due to safety and operational concerns. Interestingly, there's a third group that's emerged in these studies. Those who advocate for a middle ground. A survey by the Travelers United organization found that 35% of respondents, again a mixture of dog owners and non-dog owners, were in favor of a compromise, suggesting airlines should offer separate sections or specific flights for passengers traveling with dogs. The debate over dogs on planes is not just a two-sided coin. It's a multifaceted issue with a spectrum of opinions. Some people feel strongly that dogs have the right to fly alongside their owners. Others are equally passionate that airplanes should remain a dog-free zone, while a growing number believe that a compromise can be reached. 
As these surveys highlight, public opinion on dogs on planes is complex and varied, reflecting the diverse range of perspectives in our society. It seems like the court of public opinion is just as divided as our earlier discussion. What do experts say about dogs taking to the skies? When we turn to the professionals, we find a spectrum of opinions, each bringing a unique perspective to the table. Let's start with animal behaviorists. They point out that how a dog responds to air travel can vary greatly depending on factors like their temperament, age, and health status. Some dogs might adjust well to the unfamiliar sights and sounds, while others could find the experience stressful or even traumatic. Veterinarians, on the other hand, emphasize the potential health risks involved. A dog's physical well-being could be affected by changes in air pressure and temperature, not to mention the potential for motion sickness. They also highlight that brachycephalic breeds, those with shorter noses like bulldogs and pugs, could face respiratory issues due to the low oxygen levels in the cabin. Now let's hear from the airline professionals. Their main concern revolves around safety and logistics. Dogs on aircrafts can pose a challenge in terms of space, especially on smaller planes. The presence of dogs could also trigger allergies in other passengers or cause disruptions if the dog becomes anxious or agitated. However, these experts aren't just about highlighting the problems, they also offer solutions. Animal behaviorists suggest that owners could help their dogs adjust by familiarizing them with the travel process in advance. Veterinarians recommend health checks before travel, and in some cases the use of medications to ease anxiety or motion sickness. Airline professionals propose stringent guidelines for dog travel, including the use of approved carriers and pre-flight behavioral assessments. So it's clear that while there are valid concerns about dogs flying, with careful consideration and planning, it could be made feasible. The experts underline the need for a balanced approach that prioritizes the well-being of the dog, the comfort of other passengers, and the practicalities of flight operations. The experts, it appears, have their own set of concerns and suggestions. So, to allow or not to allow dogs on flights, that is the question. As we've journeyed through this topic together, we've unpacked a whole kennel's worth of considerations. We've sniffed out the pros. The joy and comfort that dogs can bring to their owners are undeniable. For some, their furry friends are not just pets, but vital emotional support companions. Being able to travel with them can make the journey less stressful and more enjoyable. Yet, we can't ignore the cons. Safety and hygiene concerns, potential allergies of other passengers, and the stress it might cause the dogs themselves are all valid points that have been raised. We've heard about incidents of dogs getting lost, or worse, during air travel, and the thought is heartbreaking. Then, there's the middle ground. Could there be a solution that allows dogs on flights but also addresses the concerns? We've contemplated areas such as dedicated pet zones, stringent health checks, and improved training for airline staff to handle pets. It's a tricky balance but one that could potentially keep tails wagging and passengers happy. We've also taken a bird's eye view of the current regulations. Rules vary from airline to airline and country to country. Some airlines allow dogs in the cabin, others only in the cargo hold, and some not at all. The inconsistency can be confusing for pet owners and stressful for the pets. Public opinion, as we've discovered, is as diverse as the breeds of dogs themselves. Some are all for canine companions in the cabin while others would rather not share their flight with Fido. And then there are those who have no strong feelings either way. Expert opinions also offer food for thought. Veterinarians have weighed in on the potential health risks for pets, while travel experts have shared insights on the logistical challenges. Their perspectives remind us that this debate isn't just about what we want, but also about what's best for our four-legged friends. Whether or not dogs should be allowed to fly is a complex issue with valid points on both sides. As we land this discussion it's clear that finding a solution that suits all parties will require some serious tail-wagging and head-scratching.